how can youth make a difference? I'm, I'm excited because for the first time I feel like youth are finally taking their spaces to do what needs to be done. And for a long time, especially in our African culture, we've come from what we were talking about earlier, that if you're growing up, you're there to be seen, not to be heard. But now youths are being heard by the things they are doing, very innovative things. And for the first time, I feel like we are moving beyond borders. In Africa, we have a huge problem of youth unemployment, and Uganda specifically. The youth unemployment rate is at 83%, which is probably the highest in the whole world. And so we need to provide a relevant and practical education that equips these young people with the skills to be able to create jobs for themselves and for the people around them. And uh, so what PAD does is that we identify youth talents and passions, whether they have gone to school or whether they, uh, uh, or whether they are dropouts uh, from schools. The common goal here is, can they be able to sustain themselves economically? Can they be able to put food at the end of the day on the table and sleep in a better housing? And that comes with the idea of income generation projects and the idea of giving back to the community through community action projects. We Africans have our own solutions to our own problems. So we try to teach this very early, that you have the solutions for your community. They go back to their communities, and once we've completed a leadership academy, take the resource materials we've given them, and go to their village and facilitate small settings of girls, or go back to their primary school and teach them, this is what, I, this is what a good leader is, this is what you do if you're menstruating. But the whole thing around the issue of the youth is getting them to realize their potential and knowing that they can do a lot more and giving them the right skills and knowledge that they need to spark off that potential that is hidden within themselves. But there's a ripple effect in the work that we are doing. And one of the, of the schools that we work in, the girls we sponsored decided to come together, start mobilizing resources to pay school fees for other girls who are needy in the school. Change and transformation is not only for the older people. The youth too can lead to change and transformation. The youth are really taking position to say, we are the people, we are the change we want to see.